<laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff. Did my I know y'all, I know, I know I'm supposed to be off today, but I slipped in one signing. Um, they called me. Um, one of the clients I have, they called me and I went head on and knocked it out. Um it was 44 pages, seller package for 75 bucks. Um could I gotten more probably, but they've done a lot of they've sent a lot of work my way and they're gonna continue sending work my way. And I went ahead on and knocked it out. Um I got there. Interesting because when I got there, um very nice people, but I op she opens the door and all I see is skin. I'm like, okay, why am I seeing this much flesh on a human body being from a human being? And she had on one of them little sports bra things. And I was like, when she opened the screen door, I was like, I hope she got on some some pants or whatever. She had on some sweatpants, but um, it was one of those um, looked like one of those fly girl dancers, <laughs> you know. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, you know, um, real nice. And then I get in there, supposed to, you know, I'm thinking it's going to be two people signing the papers because it's two names. And I see the gentleman in there, and I'm thinking he's the person. And he's like, I ain't signing nothing. And I was like, okay, what's going on? She's like, oh, no, 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 no. That's my boyfriend, my ex husband. He's the one signing. He's back at the other place. And I was like, oh, okay, got it. So I had to, I apologize to the guy, I said, look, man, I didn't know. I just saw two names. Nobody told me that anything so didn't want him to think that i was you know i knew what was going on and all of that with her getting a divorce them two kicking it now and everything and then i ended up having to sort of play a little papa role with the kids because the kids you you as a notary you got to realize that sometimes and especially if you're not a parent right when the kid the parents are doing stuff that's when the kids want the parents attention and the kids started, you know, well, the older one all of a sudden wanted all the attention and the older one wanted the item or the toy or tablet that the younger one was playing with. So she she just wouldn't be satisfied with what she had. She had to take old girl stuff. And I had then next thing you know, mom is on the phone. She trying to get the phone, talk to mom while she's on the phone. I mean, like every time she hopped on the phone, she runs right up into mom's face. And I'm like, hey, shh. Come here. And I started talking to her, fist pumping her and all of that and just doing stuff to to distract her so mom could get off the do what she needed to do on the phone, which means then she could finish signing and then I can roll up out of there. Um, and it's just amazing how kids will pop in there and do stuff right as soon as the parents sit down, you know you know, they'll be like, I'm hungry and I need to do this and need to do that. And it's like chill you know and you don't want the parent to get to a point of frustration and going off on the kid because then now everybody's going to be yelling screaming and and chewing on the table and all that kind of stuff so you know so i you sometimes as a notary you may have to slide in there and just try to talk to the kid and distract them you know you can't give them money and none of that kind of stuff you can't send them to the corner store um but you can at least engage with the kid to some degree or try to um and if the kid is in that once the kids start crying i don't say nothing i'm just like just cry but got the kid distracted parent got the, the mom got everything taken care of we got on doing what we had to do and we rolled on up out of there or at least i did you know and all of that kind of stuff so um again you just never know the situation you walk into um Sometimes people, they just dress however they want to dress, <laughs> you know, they in their relax mode and all of that. You know, I figure, okay, maybe she'll put on her bathrobe or a shirt or something. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. So that's the kind of stuff you sometimes roll into y'all. But um, it was a good day. It was a good day. So I'm going to finish up some of these house inspections and um and that's pretty much it but i just wanted to check in with y'all and you know as i told people on the instagram if you see an order come in for a company you never work with you may want to consider doing it because even though you may never do another order with them they more than likely will give you a good review if you do good work and that will open up doors 
more for you than constantly doing work with them it'll be great to do work with them repeatedly but if you can do work for a company especially if they're paying you a good a good fee and they give you a good review because you did great work that is awesome so um, anytime I see a new company pop up that I know I haven't done work before with before I do everything I you know sometimes I move my schedule around just to get them and to do something for them and I'm not talking about changing my orders that I already have but my you know like if I got plans to do something else and I see a new company I'm hitting that button like yeah okay yeah we'll just adjust this and I go do that later and take care of them and it always works out it always works out to my betterment you know so that's all people y'all have a good one peace